New at 5, Way 31 spoke with a foster parent about the added hurdles the coronavirus is throwing at them. Way 31's Brecken Terry joins us live to explain. Brecken. Yeah, Dan, a foster parent told me one of the biggest changes is that social workers are now doing their interviews with foster kids either on FaceTime or on video chat using a computer like this one. I spoke with Shoals foster parent Stacy Justice over video chat. She and her family currently have five foster kids. We're trying to keep them busy, but at the same time, trying to keep them safe and keep them away from the public and away from anywhere where they might catch something. Have the foster kids been asking a lot of questions and how do they feel about this? I had to take one child for a checkup this morning and he, he asked, he said, why are they wearing those scary masks? And so I had to explain you know, that the masks were to keep them from getting germs or from, or from giving germs to him. Justice said normally foster kids get to see their families once a week, but with the coronavirus, that stopped. And so for these parents and for the kids not being able to touch their family, but just being able to FaceTime them, that helps, but it's not the same. So that's been probably the hardest aspect for the kids and the families. Now, Justice told me logistically having five foster kids plus her family does put a strain when they go to the grocery store, she said, because many stores have limits on things like toilet paper, milk, and other items. She said when she makes a grocery store run, she normally has to go to multiple stores to get everything she needs. Live in the Shoals, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. Of us in that boat. All right, thanks, Breck. And Way 31 asked the Department of Human Resources about the policies they've changed and how employees are working during this pandemic. They said, quote, the Department of Human Resources has dedicated and experienced county directors who lead work in each county with guidance and support of the State Department of Human Resources. We are confident that they are doing their very best to ensure needs of our staff are being met.